Now, in addition to knowing what to teach your students, you also are going to be expected to assess their learning, how well they have learnt these things. And we have framed a set of explanations around that called achievement standards. So they relate very much to the content descriptors, but they provide a bit of more of a broad perspective on what students are meant to be able to demonstrate they can do by the end of their two-year band. So you do need to look at the assessment, or sorry, achievement standards when you develop assessment tasks and activities to measure students' learning. Now you'll do more specific measurements as part of the content descriptors in, in your lessons through questioning your students or doing observations or maybe doing a quiz or part of a project. But your overall assessment of students across the band, um, so what you'll assess in terms of reporting on their report cards and things of that nature, are described in the achievement standards. So have a look at those. Again, you'll see that it's a spiral process where the achievement standards increase in complexity year after year. And there are additional things added in that students need to be able to demonstrate. And I've also provided you with a range of different approaches to um, conducting such measurements, assessing your students. So there are a whole range of different ways of um, making judgments on your students' learning. There are observations you make, there are quizzes and tests you can give your students or exams, but most of it will occur through projects where students complete tasks. And particularly as most of our content descriptors, all the processes and production content descriptors are based around doing projects, you tend to do a lot of project-based assessment in technologies education, where students complete projects and so forth. But in the main, the quality of their solution in terms of the product is not the focus of your assessment. It's all of those learning aspects, those aspects described in the content descriptors and in the achievement standards, that is what you focus on measuring. Not how well their model plane flies through the air or how strong their bridge is. That's important and motivational and sets a nice context for their task but it has very little to do with the actual learning that you want students to achieve. It has some, but the main focus is on those content descriptors and the achievement standards. So have a look at the range of different techniques that you can use to conduct your assessments. Because um, when you develop your lesson plans and your units, you'll be expected to identify and justify why you've chosen various approaches to measuring your students' learning. And you should select an appropriate um, approach to um, assessing your students. So certain techniques lend themselves to certain content descriptors um, and so forth. But also you want to have variety and help students build their capacity to address various assessment tasks. Um, so learning how to do well on tests or do well in projects or do well writing an essay response and, and so forth. OK, so look at those various assessment um, strategies. And again, I've given you some activities to do um, using generative AI to create some assessment tasks so that you can see how to relate them to the content descriptors and the achievement standards, but also how to address various other elements that are important in assessing your students.